Hey, Andrew, do you remember what we said about going to Mogadishu when we decided go to go to, to Hagesa in Somalia? Mogadishu? Yeah. yeah. It's like doing Black Hawk yeah, Down. Right. So why are we going there now? Mogadishu. So welcome to Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia. Somalia has a population of about 17 million people and an average life expectancy of 55.97 to be precise. And there is something about feeling healthy and fit in a country where I'm older than the average life expectancy. So Mogadishu can trace its history back at least 4,000 years and has been a important trading, fishing city all along the East African trading routes, including the ancient Silk Road. And indeed, around the 12th to 14th century, this was the wealthiest city along the East African coast. At one point, Mogadishu was its own sultanate, controlling a lot of the trade, both inland and north and south. The decline started around the 15th and 16th centuries, and by the time the Italians came here as part of the scramble for Africa, it was ripe for a takeover, so the Sultan signed a peace treaty with one of the Italian colonial companies. Now, Somalia was colonised by both the Italians and the British. Somaliland, the northwest part of Somalia, was colonised by the British. And if you want to see more about Somaliland, go and have a look at the Somaliland video. But Somalia itself, Italian Somalia, Puntland and the Mogadishu area, got its independence in the 1960s, five or six days after Somaliland did. So Somaliland was an independent country for about six days when they decided to unite in a federation. It didn't take the Somaliland as long to realise they probably made a mistake and kick off a civil war for their own independence. Somalia is largely tribal and the light tribes and the clans turned on each other kicking off, well, decades of civil war. The last 10 years or so has been a relatively peaceful relatively peaceful and you've started to see some economic growth and investment principally from the Chinese coming into Somalia but boy oh boy oh boy oh boy has this country got a long way to go before you'd ever consider it safe and it's generations before you'd start to say this could be a tourist destination. So Somalia has a reputation from Black Hawk down as being a dodgy dangerous place and I'd love to say that is wrong but we've got to have security with us everywhere we go and we very quickly attract attention so we don't stay in any one place particularly long. So a lot of people in Mogadishu now make their living fishing or more accurately they go out to the trawlers, collect the fish in these small boats and bring them in and take them up to the market. We're quickly becoming a bit of a curiosity here so um, I don't mind us getting the hell out of here right now. And this is the fish market in Mogadishu, where the fish come up and coming off the trawlers. Not the way I thought it'd be closest to a hammerhead shark. Thank you very much. Now the ongoing conflicts, plural, in Somalia with Al-Shabaab and all sorts of other people, I'm not even going to pretend to know it or understand it, it's incredibly complex. It's clan based, it's religious based, and you'd need to be a deep student of Somalia before you could even begin to say you understood what was going on. I certainly don't, other than it's an incredibly complex and incredibly dangerous place to be. Now, if you're wondering what the Somali economy is like, this is $40. <laughs> and this is Old Town Mogadishu. So Mogadishu, it's hustling and bustling and you can see activity is starting but security is clearly an issue. Long term future, I don't know, generation or two away from security if everything goes right. But like a lot of parts of the world, most of the people are kind and friendly and they want the same thing as most people in the world want, which is a better future for their children. They just have a different definition of what better future means. It also reminds you how lucky you are merely because of the location of your birth. And on that note, goodbye from Mogadishu.